Hello students, today we will see the Hinsberg test. So what is Hinsberg test? This test is useful to distinguish between primary, secondary and tertiary amine. So for that purpose we are going to use the Hinsberg's reagent. So what is Hinsberg reagent? Hinsberg reagent is a benzene sulfonyl chloride benzene sulfonyl chloride is called as Hinsberg reagent what is the structure as usual benzene means we are having this six membered ring containing alternate pi bond sulfonyl means sulfur plus oxygen sulfonyl group is S double bond O double bond O chloride is a Cl so this reagent is called as benzene sulfonyl chloride so with the help of this reagent we are going to distinguish between primary secondary and tertiary amine now look at here primary amine what is the molecular formula or general representation rnh2 when it will react with benzene sulfonyl chloride this is a structure of benzene sulfonyl chloride which is also called as Hinsberg reagent so here we are having NH bond this together will produce HCl no doubt the side product of the reaction is HCl so what's left behind we are having here R NH S double bond O double bond O pH now this molecular formula is resemble with the amide what is the formula of amide C double bond O NH2 is called as amide so instead of carbon we are having here sulfur that's why this compound is called as sulfonamide now one thing you have to remember sulfonamides are insoluble sulfonamide are insoluble while their salts are soluble salt of sulfonamide are soluble so this is the sulfonamide no doubt which is insoluble but when it will react with base like NaOH then here hydrogen attached to nitrogen is the acidic in nature so what will happen this acidic hydrogen will combine with the base like NaOH and will generate H2 as a byproduct along with the salt of sulfonamide that is R N minus here is a S double bond O double bond O pH to stabilize this N minus we are having Na plus remember salt are soluble in nature salt are soluble so this is our observation when primary amine reacts with benzene sulfonyl chloride it form a insoluble sulfonamide that sulfonamide on reaction with base like NaOH it forms a soluble salt so this observation is for primary amine but if we are having secondary amine in the reaction what is the general representation of secondary amine R2NH again it will react with benzene sulfonyl chloride what is the expected side product HCl no doubt so the main product of the reaction is R 2 N S double bond O double bond O Cl again what we got here sulfonamide which is this compound sulfonamide I told sulfonamide are insoluble now when we will add NaOH in the solution NaOH is a base if sulfonamide has hydrogen attached to nitrogen then at that time it is acidic in nature but in this case since NH bond is absent means this compound is no more acidic in nature if it is not acidic means it won't combine with base if it won't combine with base means it won't form a salt if it is not forming a salt the salts or the sulfonamide will remain insoluble in even NaOH also so this observation is for secondary amine similarly we are having tertiary amine in the reaction what is the general representation R3N is called as tertiary amine 
it will react with benzene sulfonyl chloride since there is no nh bond means we can say that there is a no point of formation of hcl means there is no sulfonamide formation no sulfonamide formation so this observation is based on the solubility and insolubility primary amine reacts with benzene sulfonyl chloride and it generates the insoluble sulfonamide which has the acidic hydrogen that's why with base it form a soluble salt in the same way secondary amine also has a hydrogen atom attached to nitrogen so no doubt it will form a sulfonamide but nh bond is absent in a sulfonamide so no further reaction with base like nh so the compound will remain insoluble in nh here since there is no hydrogen attached to nitrogen means it won't react with the benzene sulfonyl chloride so no sulfonamide formation so that's all about the hinsberg test this test is very much useful and the question are also asked on the base of this in jn net examination so thank you so much have a nice time take